Hey guys, what's up? Technology for all here, and today I'm going to be doing the unboxing and comparison of the iPhone 6 Plus versus the iPhone 6. So first things first, we're going to unbox the iPhone 6 Plus before we compare it to the iPhone 6 because obviously we need to take out the iPhone 6 Plus out of its box. But I will do a quick comparison of the box themselves. And there you go. You can see that the iPhone 6's box is pretty huge compared to the iPhone 6's, I guess, puny box. Um, there is a huge difference from what I see, or in my opinion it is, because... I mean, I was in shock when I saw the box, when it came in the um, packaging, the shipping packaging, and I felt it in my hand, it just felt huge, way huge, huger, if that's even a word, than this box itself. Like, it, this was literally all of my hand, and it was ridiculous. So, it's pretty crazy to see how big this is compared to the 6. They actually weren't kidding about this being the plus size. So anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this. I already cut the bottom off in a nice clean way just so we can keep the wrapping on this and because my mom wants to keep the box like brand new and all that so there it is the iPhone 6 plus itself I actually had to adjust the zoom from my camera just to actually capture the whole thing because it's so big so my mom got the gold version as you can see right here and it's what I mentioned on my other iPhone 6 videos so I'm gonna be trying to do a color comparison between the black the silver and this gold version even though the black and the silver one our sixes, the color scheme is the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out this iPhone 6 and show you the insides, which aren't different. They're the same thing as the sixes. You get the ear pods, charger, and the cable. And you get the you know ordinary stuff. iPhone 6 Plus uh, little card thing that tells you how it works and all that. So let me go ahead and bring it in here, see if the Camera focuses on it. There you go. It's actually bigger too. So I actually have to move it up and down. There you go. On the back, same detail as the iPhone 6 one. Uh, the warranty information, the iPhone information, and all that. And the stickers, which I think the stickers are the same size, if I'm correct. Alright, so that was the inside of the box. So basically, like I said, the same thing as the 6s. So let's go ahead and turn this on so that I can do a comparison between the 6s screen and the iPhone 6 Plus's screen. Alright, so here we have the iPhone 6 Plus on the left and the iPhone 6 on the right, as you can obviously tell, because the iPhone 6 Plus screen is way larger than the iPhone 6s. This is a 1920 by 1080 resolution. This is a, they think, 1336 by 768, something like that. I'll put the correct resolution on the video when I edit it but this pretty much has full 1080p HD resolution this has about 768p or or 720p plus if you want to go and call it that way so the iPhone 6 plus has features that the iPhone 6 does not have for instance if you were to get your iPhone 6 plus and put it on landscape mode the springboard actually goes on landscape mode and you can scroll like this and you have your four apps here and even if you go into apps like settings it actually keeps it on landscape mode so you have your settings over here and you can adjust the settings over here so if you go to Wi-Fi turn that on you can turn it on and turn it off go to Bluetooth turn that on and then turn that off and so on and so forth you can actually move it like this too which is actually fairly interesting you have the button on top and the speaker on the bottom and use your phone like this it's weird but you can do that well, the iPhone 6 cannot do that. Now, I wish the iPhone 6, which actually turned off on me. Let me go ahead and put my finger there. There you go. While the iPhone 6, you cannot do that. So that's one of the neat features of the iPhone 6 Plus that the iPhone 6 does not have. I wish the iPhone 6 had that feature, but unfortunately, like I said, it does not. So another feature that the iPhone 6 Plus has that the iPhone 6 doesn't is actually in its camera, and it's called OIS, or Optical Image Stabilization. So basically, if you're trying to take a photo, or I believe also take a video, Wherever you move or however you move, the lens goes with you. The lens follows your movement so that it creates a smooth and stable, hence the name, capturing of your image or your video. So that's actually that's actually a really neat feature and fairly nifty as well. And it's something I wish I had on my 6 as well because I actually do a lot of videos, as you can tell right now, I'm making one with the iPhone 6's camera itself. Not that I do a lot of uh, movement when I record my videos, but it's a great feature to have nonetheless. So that's just a quick glance of what the iPhone 6 Plus has and the iPhone 6 doesn't. 
So that was just a quick comparison between the iPhone 6 Plus versus the iPhone 6. Now the question is, which phone is right for you? Do you want the iPhone 6 Plus or do you want the iPhone 6? To make it short and simple, it just depends on how you use your iPhone. So if you use the iPhone's camera a lot, I'd recommend getting the iPhone 6 Plus because of its new camera feature. And if you do a lot of editing with the whole using the camera thing, you can actually edit better on the bigger screen. However, if you're somebody that uses the iPhone 6 in the most basic way, so like mail, messaging, music, don't really use the camera that much, the iPhone 6 is great for you. Nonetheless, both phones are great, both phones I recommend, and I would actually have gotten the iPhone 6 Plus if I had realized it wasn't as big as I thought, because I thought it was going to be super big and that it wasn't going to fit on my hand, but it actually does fit in my hand and it feels well. It's just now the question would be, would it fit in my pockets? And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching the unboxing of the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6 Plus versus the iPhone 6 quick comparison, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick phone size comparison between the 6 and the 6 Plus. This is the front. As you can see, the bigger screen is lurking in the back. This is the side, the left side. This is the back. Let me go ahead and adjust it correctly here. There you go. Something like that. And this is the right side. And yeah, so that's the different size comparisons. So here's the color comparison between the gold, the silver, and the space gray edition. I know the gold is the 6 plus version, but like I mentioned earlier, the color scheme is the same. So again, gold, silver, space gray. And then if you flip it to the front, the gold also has a white front, just as the same as the silver. And on the sides, so right here is the silver edition, space gray edition, and the gold edition. One thing to know about the iPhone 6 Plus is that it actually has more holes for the speaker. So as you can see, it has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes, while the iPhone 6 speaker holes are only up to six. So I don't know if that makes the speaker on the iPhone 6 Plus better, but that's just one thing to note.